and that's why oh, she was trying good to morning. get out of school. Like, Sorry I'm late, I was shopping for my niece. She turns 12 tomorrow. I'm professional. Don't ever ask me for a tardy pass. My little sister's about to turn 12 too. What did you get her? Cause they are so hard to buy for. I got her this. Um, I won't judge, but what 12 year old can fit into that? And it's ugly. I, I didn't say she was 12 years old. Um, yes you did. No, I said she turns 12 tomorrow. You must have just turned 90 yesterday because your memory is off. Right, right. I thought what? he was only 40, but he is bald. She'll be 12 months old tomorrow. Oh, you're being extra. No one says that. Just say she'll be one. Uh, well, the real issue here is that units matter. So much of our physical world is governed by quantities and without units for those quantities, we will be confused anytime anyone mentions a number. Age is simply a measurement of time, and time has several different units, correct? Mm. Now granted, mm. when we speak about age, it tends to be in years, but it doesn't have to be. Example, today is August 12th, right? Mm -hmm. If I told you my niece was born on August 1st of this year, how old is she today? At 12 days old. Mm. Right. If she was born at 11 p.m. last night, how old is she? Um, oh, she'd be 12 hours old. If I told you she was born as I was getting off the highway to come to work, how old is she? Oh, 12 minutes old. Right. So just saying 12 means nothing without a unit attached to it. In science, units are very important because we spend a lot of time measuring and recording data. If I needed to measure the amount of time left in class, and told you it was 30, you would be really happy to know that it's just 30 minutes. Uh, that's not something to be happy about. Well, would you prefer 30 hours? Um, seconds. <laughs> nice 30 one. seconds. But our units have to be aligned and uniform to avoid confusion. We'll be doing a lot of experiments in this class where we will be discussing and measuring length. How long is this table? Uh, I'd say about four feet. It's not that short. It has to be like 120 no, that's centimeters. Way too long. Like, look Actually, at the table. Do you see? No, I have you both at, are I mean, correct. How? Well, this table is 120 centimeters long, and that just happens to be about four feet long. I knew I was right. However, you said it was also. I'm going to side with a Benny this time, only hmm. because centimeters is a metric unit. Matt, you use feet, inches, feet miles, gallons, quarts, pints, ounces, pounds, those are all U.S. customary units. And while you may use them all of the time in the United States in your daily life, I want you to be prepared to measure, read, and work with data all over the world. You'll find that most of the world uses metric units, meters, liters, and grams to measure length, volume, and mass. Metric units work by taking the base unit, like meters, liters, and grams, and you can just tack a prefix in front of them to make them larger by powers of 10. So, there are 10 meters in one decameter, 100 meters in one hectometer, and 1,000 meters in one kilometer. Kilometers, hectometers, and decameters are all larger than one meter. Then you have deci, centi, and millimeters. They are all smaller than a meter. So it works backwards for those prefixes. There are 10 decimeters in one meter. There are 100 centimeters in one meter. And you can fit 1,000 millimeters in one meter. But question, which value is larger, 10 decimeters or 100 centimeters? Um, it's clearly 100. Actually, they're the same value. Think about this. Hmm? Do 100 pennies have a greater value than 10 dimes? No. No. Exactly. They both have the same value, just like 100 pennies is the same as $1. Another benefit of using metric units is that it's very easy to convert between them. Matthew, 
How many miles are in four feet? Miles? I got time for that. Well, there are 5,280 feet in one mile. So, how many miles are in four feet? Uh, let me get my calculator. Without a calculator. Uh, can I get a pass to the counselor? I'm trying to withdraw. While he's well, doing too, that, can I a Benny, how many kilometers are in 120 centimeters? Uh, mm, 0 0.0012 kilometers. How'd you get that so fast? Well, based on what you said earlier, if this is 120 centimeters, then there are 12 decimeters in that, 1.2 meters in that, 0.12 decameters in that, and 0 0.012 hectometers, and 0 0.0012 kilometers in that measurement. So, just say you moved the decimal. Um, don't you have a math problem to do? I'm almost done. How many millimeters are in 120 centimeters? Same way, so milli is 10 times smaller than centimeters, so there will be 1,200 millimeters in 120 centimeters. Excellent. Which one is longer, 120 centimeters or 1,200 millimeters? Um, they're the same. You just told us that. All right. Do you want to count them? I am not doing that. <laughs> Converting between metric units is extremely simple. As you need to move between the prefixes, just simply move the decimal. Okay, I'm done. There are 0 0.0758 miles and four feet. Uh, how did you get that? Divided four by 5,280, but with no calculator that took me back. And I haven't done long division in so long. And then the numbers started repeating. Uh, you, you used the calculator, didn't you? Um, yeah, I care about my mental health. Hmm. I actually appreciate that. Me too. Converting between U.S. customary units is actually more complex. It requires memorization of or research of conversion factors, which tend to be strange and arbitrary numbers. This can be done, and we actually do have a lesson coming up on that. But if you had to pick, which one would you rather use? Metric mm. or U.S. customary units for conversion? Metric. Certainly metric. Metric system for sure. Right. Well, Matt, you missed our explanation, so let's go over converting between metric units again. First step, I like to put all of the prefixes in line. Kilo, hecto, deca, the base unit. Deci, centi, and milli. Uh, I don't think I'll remember that. That's too much. Oh, oh, I have something my old teacher taught me once to help remember. Yes, um, yes, it was I like, got one. Yes, I know what she said. Um, Kanye hates dressing babies during campaign meetings. Um, that is not what she said. I was gonna say. King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. Mm, actually, I like that first one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, they're both stupid, but it's just right. a mnemonic device to help you remember the order. Mm -hmm. So, let's work on it. I'm 1.75 meters tall. How tall am I in millimeters? Mm -hmm. So, we look at our line of prefixes. Where are we starting on this line? Um, I don't see meters on this line anywhere. Well, that's because we're starting at the base unit. Right. Meters is the base unit, just like liters and grams. How far away from the base unit is milli? Milli is one, two, three spaces to the right. Awesome. So let's move our decimal three spaces to the right. And then we'll fill in these empty spaces with zeros. So. Ah, so you're 1,750 millimeters tall. 1,750 millimeters tall. Correct. Let's work on another one. Your grandma's pound cake recipe requires 200 centiliters of milk. How many decaliters would that be? No one's grandma measures milk in decaliters. All right, my grandma uses cups. So where are we starting? We're starting in centiliters. Um, are we moving to deci or are we moving to deca? 
Ah, Deca. I almost got confused. They look similar. Right. Okay. So let's move our decimal. I don't see it. Hmm. If you don't see the decimal, remember that it's always at the end of a whole number. Ah. 0.2 deciliters of milk. Very good. Um, how much do you weigh? Uh, don't ask me that. <laughs> okay. How much do I weigh? How much do you think that I weigh? I don't know. You look dangerously thin. Right? So do you. So Who animated us? Right. Anyway, oh. I say you're at least 90 pounds and you're an adult man. Mm. Well, remember, we don't use pounds in this class. That's a U.S. customary unit. I'll let you know. I'm actually 70 kilograms. What is my mass in milligrams? Oh, gosh. Oh, milligrams? All the way over there. Well, where are we starting up here? Uh, we're starting at kilo. Right. And uh, mm. we're moving to milli. How many spaces are we moving? Uh, that's yes. six spaces to the right. Six, yes. And let's fill in the empty spaces with zeros. 70 million mm. milligrams? Uh -huh. You're fatter than I thought. Am I really? <laughs> because one of the main points that I'm trying to drive home is that while we convert it between these, they are still the same, uh, the same value. value. 90 yeah. kilograms. If I was 90 kilograms, that would be greater than 70 million milligrams. But 70 kilograms is equal to 70 million milligrams. Either way, you need to get your weight up. That's unhealthy. I'm calling your doctor. Yeah, we don't do body shaming here. <laughs>